You have an inflammation of the pubic joint, osteitis pubis, and pain in your adductors and groin, you're probably a soccer player or something like that, well, then you've come to the right place if you want to get rid of those problems. Let me educate you a bit first, since there are a lot of misconceptions floating around, and I'll show you an exercise that will have a positive impact on all three problems, then at the end, I'll show you one spot on your pubic bone that if you press on it, will reduce any pain there immediately. Before Ina demonstrates the exercise, I want to explain something to you, because the inflammation of your pubic bone, right here, the pain in your groin, which would be in this area, and the pain in your adductors are connected, but not in the way most people think. Here's the background. Look at our pubic bone, where the straight abdominal muscle ends. The straight abdominal muscle is shortened in most people because their upper bodies are often hunched over. Here, the hip flexor runs down from the lumbar spine and from the iliac bone, travels across the groin all the way down here. And now, the first misconception I want to dispel is coming up now. Pain in your groin is not connected with your adductors, but caused by the hip flexor, because the flexor also enters down here into the groin, and that's why it hurts. The adductors start from here and branch off and run to the side, while the long ones run down all the way. But the pain in the adductors is felt more in the adductors and not in the groin. How did we end up in this situation? Everything in the front becomes more shortened, inflexible, that is which forces our muscles in the back to hold out against this, causing problems in your buttocks, piriformis issues, and sciatic pain. They occur because the muscles in the back work against this forward pull to compensate for it. And soccer players are particularly prone to this because they have a lot of tension in the front. Plus, they cross their legs a lot when playing. There is virtually no better way to make your adductors shorter than through that kind of activity. And we're lucky in being able to tinker with our exercises in a way that affects all these three issues simultaneously. I'm going to show it to you now because it's hard to believe that you can actually combine it in one exercise. Ina, please get on all fours. So, Ina is ready, but before we start, Ina has to bring her back into a certain position, meaning she has to round her back, leaving the arched back position and bending her back like this brings her groins forward. And in this position, you lower your body without leaving this angle. Without leaving this angle. Great. Stay like this. See, Ina is keeping her back straight, does not arch her back while she's lowering her body, but she keeps her back straight, so her groin moves forward. Now, we're going to show you how not to do it. Please, Ina, no, stay like this. Arch your back. Arch your back, hollow it out. And when you arch your back now, your groin goes out backwards again. And, and we don't want that. The groin has to move forward so that the hip flexor is thoroughly stretched. Because this muscle is too short and inflexible, and all the fascia are all tangled up. So, round your back again, move your groin forward, now lower your groin, right, straight in the back, lower your groin, stay like this for a second. And now the stretch is in the groin area, reaching your hip flexor and helping you with your pain. It's also good against hernias, so-called soft groin, and whatnot. This is all related to the musculofacial relationship that is out of balance and can be improved and brought back into good shape. Now, that takes care of the hip flexor, which is well stretched as soon as your groin moves forward. Now, let's do the following. Put your right knee out, and you may have noticed how your hip is tilting. Now, you at home do this too. And now, the stretch is different in this area from just before. Which means that if you move in like this, the stretch reaches that part of the hip flexor that goes into your iliac bone. And at the same time, you bring your knee out to a point where you feel a stretch in your adductors, on the inside of your thigh, that is. 
And that is the position where all three culprits for the inflamed pubic bone, the pain in your groin and in your adductors, are included in only one exercise. But why the inflamed pubic bone? Because the straight abdominal muscle sits in the front and is stretched when you lower your pubic bone. Pull your shoulders down and rise up nicely. Yes, rise up. And if you feel you need to get up even more in this exercise, you might put a footstool or a stack of books in front of you to put your hands on to go up even further. Or rest on your fists. That brings you up a little bit more too. And lean in here. And now, start with a pre-stretch. You feel something in your adductors? For your adductors, you have to bring your knee all the way out to the side. Start with a pre-stretch. And now everything absolutely hinges on how the stretches run. And they run like this. In order for the abdominal muscle to be thoroughly stretched, you want to pull up your pelvis, your pubic bone, but stabilize yourself so this will not happen. Otherwise, you would not get the tension into your straight abdominal muscle and put an end to the excessive pull that's pestering your pubic bone. Remember, the pubic bone is inflamed because the straight abdominal muscle pulls too hard on it, and that gets the bone inflamed, which is not bad because this inflammation is a repair process. And a chronic inflammation is a repair job that's not finished yet. And that is nothing that should be treated with shots or cortisone. That would be the wrong way to do it, the way I see it. This is stretch number one. The other one comes from pushing your knee into the floor. That's stretch number two. And number three is you want to push your right slightly slanted knee into the floor because it is sticking out to the side. Okay, get these three tensions started, Ina. Get your right knee pushing into the floor. You want to tilt your pelvis. You want to push your left knee into the floor. It's a very demanding exercise. I mean, but if we want to roll up three effects into only one exercise, we have to invest a little more work. And if you fail the first time, don't worry. Every day you do this exercise, you'll get better. So, and now we leave the position and hang down here even lower. Keep the tension on for about 10 seconds. My explanations made it a bit longer. Hang in there. Rotate your pelvis so you can bring down your groin. Drop your pelvis really low and turn inwards and bring your knee out even more. And now tense up for exactly 10 seconds. You want to move your pelvis with your pubic bone forward. You want to push your right knee into the floor, and you want to push your left knee diagonally into the floor with a lot of force, a lot of force. You look way too relaxed. Maximum power. Show them how hard you're working here. And release. And go more into the stretch. Repeat three to four times for two, two and a half minutes. And then we do what? Switch sides. Let's do that. Now, straighten your left leg slowly and carefully. Bring out your right knee to a point where your adductors on the inside of your thigh feel a stretch. You want to feel it on the inside of your thigh. Great. For this stretch, your groin has to go down first. And now, try and rotate your hip forward so that your adductors get a good dose of stretching. You can feel it, right? Now, bring your pelvis and your pubic bone forward. Great. You could feel the triple stretch. It's a bit complicated, I admit. So drop us a comment if you understood it or not. If you want us to explain it again, whatever. Keep us posted on how you feel about it, how it works for you, the effect it has for you. So, ready to flex? Start with the left knee that wants to go into the floor. 
your pubic bone wants to be pulled up, and your right knee wants to push into the floor diagonally. And flex. Flex. Look into the camera so we see maximum power. More, more, more. Great, Ina. And relax. Deeper into the stretch, rotate your hip a bit more. Bring your right groin further down and put your pubic bone up more so your groin can go down even more. Work your way into this. Applause for Ina. Not you at home. You might lose your balance and collapse. Okay. And again. Flex. Left knee into the floor. Pubic bone wants to go up. Right knee into the floor. More, more, more. Great. Now you're working. More, still more, more, more power. And release. And deeper into the stretch. The groin moves forward. Let's give Ina some time to stretch everything open. Now, slowly leave the position. Slowly. So... Go and lie down for a second. We can all sympathize with you. Don't play tough. It's okay. Please, come up again. And I promised that I was going to show you a point to press where you could shut off the pain in your pubic bone immediately and dramatically. And if you don't believe us, which I can imagine you do, go ahead and try it. We know very famous soccer players that were able to help themselves a lot with this. And so, where is this point? It's your pubic bone itself. And now I have to explain something. No, let's use the time better. Ina, let's get you started. In case you already have our osteopressure tool set, then put on the soft and flat piece or use something of similar shape. A cork from a wine bottle has roughly the same shape. Flat. That's eh, not too easy to handle, though. And maybe you should just go and buy this tool set, because if you want to exercise with us on a regular basis, you should have it. Click up there to find all the relevant information. This will last you 20, 30 years. It's a wonderful once-in-a-lifetime investment. Now, we're going to look for our pubis bone. Go ahead, Ina. Ina knows the routine exactly, of course, and found it. Now, you at home do the following. You're going to do exactly those things that are considered no-nos. Oh, boy. Inflammation of the pubic bone. You can't treat that. It's forbidden. Forget that. It's a huge misunderstanding. We do it differently. We go there on purpose. And why do we go there? Because that's where the problem is and where we can solve it. And while she is pressing... I'll explain some more. Approach the left and right pubic symphysis at a 45-degree angle. Lift your fingers so we could see it. Angle not so flat. This should be the right angle. Now, look for the spot where you feel it the most and start dialing down the pain. Not too hard. Still under 10 on your personal pain scale. Now, my explanation. An inflammation is a repair process, and this repair job that happens during an inflammation of the pubic bone obviously has not been finished, otherwise it would not be chronic. That means it is an ongoing repair process. The only solution for this chronic inflammation is to reduce the excessive pull of the straight abdominal muscle. Reduce it and normalize it. And we can do this easily with our osteopressure technique and the appropriate exercises. And that's why, in the context of our osteopressure technique, you learn to press on the edge of your pubic bone yourself. That's nothing bad. It's a repair process. Of course, everything is swollen there with retained water. It is highly inflamed because of the excessive pull on the bone. And if you press on it now, the effect of reducing the pull is so liberating that the small downside of interrupting the metabolism there for a moment amounts to nothing. A mathematician would say this downsize is very small, negligible, of no consequence in the real world. So we're going to switch to the other side. And to the same degree as the sensitivity to pressure is dialed down, you will feel how your pubic bone inflammation that's been going on for weeks, months, maybe with lingering pain for years even, is being mitigated. And if, in addition, you also do this brilliant 
three in one exercise, you can say goodbye to this entire situation and find your peace. That wraps up our video on pubic bone inflammation, pain in your groin, and adductors. If you've liked our video and you want to do more exercises of that sort, highly effective and targeted to the problem, then subscribe to our channel. In case you haven't done so already, click on subscribe, activate the bell so you're notified immediately about the videos, and if you've liked what we've done and demonstrated, we'd be happy about a thumbs up. Comments are welcome to the more the better, especially on issues that are so controversial. Tell us how you feel about it. Bye. See you in our next video.